Here is how to make an elevation profile graph in QGIS. Right now I have a DEM loaded in here showing uh, some elevation in Benton County, Washington. I also have a path polyline shape file that's showing a hypothetical hike that somebody could take uh, up to the top of this ridge line. So what we want to do is see a cross section or a profile graph of that. Uh, the way that we do that is first by installing a plugin. So go to plugins manage and install plugins and there is a plugin specifically for profile graphing which is uh, very powerful so uh, find it right here it's called profile tool so go ahead and click to install the plugin it should take uh, just a few seconds to get installed here Once the plugin is installed, you can close the plugin manager and then uh, you click this button that appears uh, to get a terrain profile. Uh, now, what you want to do is highlight your DEM over here on the left hand side, and we're going to click Add Layer. So, this will give us the, the DEM as our reference layer. Then, what we need to do is specify an input here uh, for what we want to see. So, we're going to change from temporary polyline to uh, selected layer. Actually first for this part I've got to select the path layer and then change to selected layer here. And so this shows us uh, the terrain that would be covered as we would walk along this line. Notice as I highlight along the profile graph uh, you can see the red dot moving up above along the line. Now the order of this will be based on the order of the line. So the start vertex of the line is down here. The end vertex is up on uh, to the north here. So this is how I see my graph. Also my units here are based on my map units. There's various settings that you can use um, to adjust this graph. And when you get it the way you like and you've set the maximum and minimum to where you want, uh, you can go ahead and save it out. Uh, there's different formats here you can choose and you can save it just as a PNG image if you would like. There are also lots of options off the context menu here so this is actually where you can get down to the nitty-gritty of the grid, the points and things like that. Um, you can choose how to label the different axes and so on.